what you have to do first is take the DC power completely off of the computer take it up, take it off flip the computer back and remove the battery this is the first step you have to do as soon as you remove the battery you proceed to take all the covers out keep the screws on the right place avoid losing them take the covers second cover most important thing you have to remove the hard drive this is the main part of the computer you set it up in a secure place if you have an anti-static bag you can set it up in an anti-static bag to avoid losing information or shocks after that you have to remove all the screws Okay, so as soon as you take all the screws out, this one particular screw is showed with a question mark or a, or a little mark. It will show you where is your DVD unit. You level it out. Try, a little, try to not push too much. Take the unit out. Put it in the right place. Secure place. Keep removing all the screws, and on this case, special case of this computer, you have to be aware this type of a computer comes with a little little tabs thing. You have to pry them out because underneath these covers, there's more screws who hold the 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 plates. These plates hold the uh, palm rest. So you take this covers out and there's underneath screws. So now physically you can check if there is no screws left. And you flip it over, you open it up. And with a flat screw, line screwdriver, you try to pry this little bar that holds the keyboard. Gentle, you have to curve when, and pull in the side. And very gentle, you have to take them out. There's a ribbon cable underneath there. So you have to pray this little part is locked, spread it out, and release the ribbon very gentle. So I keep her out. You have to remove this contacts come from my board. You remove all the cables, then you have to remove with the following order the Wi-Fi antenna cables now. This is the multimedia and power on ribbon. You have to release it the same same way with the keyboard. And this is one of the most important parts. This one is the connector for the LCD. We have to remove it very, very gentle and one at a time. To avoid uh, damage the pins inside of this connector. And then you can proceed to remove all the rest of the screws. So now you remove the LCD ribbon. You remove all the 
antenna cables on this side too and you have to remove the last and very important to the mouse pad ribbon down the, this the, the speakers there's a little cover you have to print it out then you have to take another screw out take the LCD cable out step is take the screws from the LCD hinges out and you have your LCD out and you place it in a safe place So you have now this, the main body of the laptop. So you have to see what's left of the screws. In this case you have to lever it out right here, starting right there. And release the brackets. There we go. Don't worry, that's normal, that noise is normal. Try not to press that much, but it's a normal noise. So now you can feel that it's coming out. And now there you go, you have to your motherboard. First of all, you have to check what is your connection you have to remove for your example this connection you have to remove it very gentle and straight out after that you have to locate your screws they usually mark with an arrow like this so this arrow will show you which one is holding your motherboard VGA card, which is an external card, and you have to pray out this connector too. It comes with a ribbon there, and you have to remove your power jack or uh, receiving jack from the power supply, and then you have to remove gentle and move to the sides and then you have it up. This is the base cover. You're in a safe place. Now you have your motherboard. Now you have to remove screws for the heat sink and clean the lint for the fan. Now pray gentle move it through the sides. Now you can remove the fan and the heat sink. All the lint and dust you have to remove it. Then you have to remove Memories, safe place, remove your processor, set on a safe place, and continue removing these cables for the VGA port, and you're done.